with the leader's jersey on Michael Matthews' shoulders after his stage win during the individual time trial yesterday. Team Sunweb spent the day pulling at the front of the peloton, keeping the brake away within reach. Whilst the brake went clear in the early kilometers of the race, Team Sunweb remained tucked inside the bunch, protecting the leader's jersey. As the breakaway's lead reached out to six minutes, Team Sunweb posted Lawrence Tendam, Simon Geshka, Michael Storer and Chris Hamilton to the front of the bunch to regain control of their lead. As the break came within reach inside the final 20 kilometers, attacks came from the front of the bunch, which ultimately saw Michael Matthews lose contact with the group. With teammates dropping back to help, the race was on, and the team were unable to come back to contest a result. Reactions, today was a really nice day in yellow and the team did a really good job of controlling the race to give me the best shot for the stage, said Michael after the finish. Unfortunately when the hammer went down over the last climb I didn't have the legs to go with it. Me, Simon and Lewis tried to fight to get back but the gap was already too far and our chances were over. Team Sun Web coach Tom Veelers added, it was a really tough stage where we had pretty good cards to play with Michael. A strong break went at the beginning, which in the end saw two guys almost make it until 10 kilometers to go. In the peloton the guys worked really hard to keep the situation in hand, but on the climb Michael could not follow and lost contact. The team tried to get him back on the descent at 10 kilometers to go but it wasn't possible anymore. In the end we finished with no result today but we gave it a good try, saw good commitment from the team and we will give it a shot at the next opportunity.